Hey everybody, and welcome to the final video that I will be making on Elden Ring. Now, as you can see, it's been quite a while since I've posted, especially on Elden Ring. And I was planning on kind of just leaving it, like being like, eh, you know what, maybe I'll just like go into a different thing. But I want to finish this game since I didn't do that with, um, I didn't do that with Dark Souls uh, 1. So... Today, I will be finishing up a ga the game on a completely new save file. Like, um, this was, this is really just the save file I've actually, I've actually, like, put the most hours in off-camera, of course, like that. So, I'll be playing on this one, 204 hours, new game plus, like, four or something like that. I wanted to turn the music down because it really gets, kind of gets loud, and I don't want to start the video off where it's, like, the music is already blaring. So, I'll just turn the music up to, like, five. And we'll jump straight into this. Hopefully we can beat it, because the uh, the bosses that are coming up aren't particularly easy. But who knows? If I just change out my loadout. Plus, I haven't played this game in a while. I haven't spent any time like grinding on it or anything. I just have been completely doing my own thing. Now, for the next playthrough, I kind of want to play... Well, I'll make it a surprise. I'm not just going to say it. But... I wanted to play this game because I played it before on a previous channel that I made that I like just deleted because it, does, it didn't really do that well. Um, and so I wanted to make. Wait, where's the? I'm confused. Where's the? That was right here. I'm blind. Uh, I wanted to make a playthrough on the game that I'm going to next. Just because it's a pretty cool game, especially because a lot of glitches have been fixed in it and stuff like that. I feel like just by saying that, you probably know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. But that's until after we've beaten this game. So, let's just hold off until we beat this game. Now, I kind of want to do this. Seem like a good... Seem like a good build. Great Jar's Arsenal, health, defense... More health, defense, and stamina, and quick load. Yeah, I think we got this. All right. So I killed this um, the Sonic Tree Sentinel beforehand because it, if you don't, it's it's a pain because then you can't take your time like buffing up and stuff like that before you actually enter the gate. You have to kind of rush in, or else you're just dead. So I think for this one, we'll do Black Flame Protection, Golden Vow. Zapuku. Same with this. And then I'm gonna try my best to get my Mimic Tear out. I, I didn't... Here we go. Let's just top off. Hopefully this boss isn't gonna be that hard. Guy. Okay. There we go. All right, got that blood proc. All right, I'm gonna be skipping this cutscene since. I mean, like, you all know it at this point. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Problem with this boss is... Okay. This is not good. Like, my Mimic Tear is just, like, flopping, dude. But yes, just focus on me, dude. 
Alright, that was a little hard. Let's, let's be honest, this was a little hard. Alright. We could technically beat this. If I just don't screw up here. Alright, come on. <laughs> there we go! Let's go, baby. Okay. I really didn't want to have to do a second attempt on that. To kill what? To kill a god, that's what. Okay. Legend failed. As you can see, that would probably be a lot easier. Uh, maybe not. If I was, like, playing with the same build, and I was playing, um... Oh, my... Uh, uh, I'm saying uh a lot. It's hard to think. My first profile, like the one I played the game to, on, you know, most of the game, it'd be a lot easier, because I'm playing on New Game Plus, like, 4 or 5. This game really is not that hard to, um, beat. At all. I feel like it's the easiest Dark Souls game, or From Software game. Even a From Software game. But, definitely the easiest Souls-like game, because... There's a lot of ways to just, like, grind, and because it's so open world, I feel like I'm gonna give more of a spiel while I'm playing the game than, like, just normal commentary, because I've already beaten this game a couple times. Uh, I was gonna showcase some of the endings. Unless I've unlocked some of the endings here already, and I don't know, then I'm probably just gonna go for the normal ending. But, uh, if I haven't, then I'll make sure to do that. I'll make sure to choose one of the cooler endings. So the couple bosses, we have three bosses left. The final boss is definitely going to be a uh, kick in the nuts, for sure, because the final boss is, honestly, besides Melania, probably the hardest boss, in my opinion. Because, like, Melania, the problem with her boss fight is that she uses a lot of the same moves, which I guess, like, you can't really say anything because... I mean, if you use Rivers of Blood constantly on her, it's like she's doing the same thing to you, just in a more annoying form. But, I don't know. It just seems like a very spammy boss, I could I guess you could say, like, spams the same attacks. Sometimes, she'll just do Waterfell Dance, Scarlet Aonia, that weird phantom attack. I don't know what you'd call that attack, but it's one where she, like, throws flower phantoms at you that do a crap ton of damage and then comes at you. She did like three of her most powerful attacks in a row and then tried to do waterfell dance again. Like <laughs> sometimes that boss can just be very very um unfair I guess you could say. Okay. Now time for arguably um arguably one of the easiest if not the easiest late game boss. By far. So, uh, let's just... Actually, let's get our seppuku on. There's a... Boss! It's, uh, can, can be difficult if you don't, uh, just kill him right away. Off the game. Because some of his spells and sorceries are actually extremely powerful. Why is this guy even stopping us again? Uh oh, it's rolling. Okay, you tank, you tank that. I'm not going for that. No more. I feel like they nerfed bleed slightly. I don't know why. Bye bye. No, you don't. I've done it like six times, buddy. I'm pretty sure you're wrong there. Like, at all. I mean, if a man cannot kill a god, then why are you here? Why is he here? Isn't he here to, like, take the throne or something? Is he just there to stop you? He's like, no, I can't let you do this. Why not? 
the lands between are kind of in ruins right now. I feel like a new ruler would be helpful. And he's just like, nah, I have no reasoning for it. I just want to stop you. <laughs> like, what? Like, at least Godfrey over here. This is the next boss, dude. He has a reason. He wants to become Elden Lord. Which, I mean, I feel like he's earned it more than we have, but, like, still. He has a reason. Okay. So, stay here. This next boss fight... I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent towards... It's the coolest boss fight in the game by far. Like, no sh no shot there is a cooler boss fight than this. If you think Melania is cooler, eh. I mean, that's your preference. I think this boss is the coolest. Moog is a close second, if not second, completely. But, um... I don't know the third would be. Radagon's pretty cool. It's just that, I don't know, once you're late game, you really just a cakewalk and you barely get to experience the fight. Sometimes you can just kill him without even getting to his next phase. Okay, so for this first one, we're actually not going to use Mimic Tear because it's... Should I watch the cutscene? This is a cool cutscene. I'll skip the other ones since they're pretty lame, but this one's actually cool. Didst thou fight? Thank you. Tarnished warrior. Spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Why don't we just let Godfrey get the Elden Ring? I, I mean, like, why don't we just he let him help us fight Radagon? I mean... Why not? Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. All right. We started pretty far away from him in the fight, or in the cutscene, but, uh... And not when we get to the upon fight. my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Dang, you're old. I don't mean that, no disrespect. But... Got that. Timing on that, that on those dodges would be nice. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was too close. I was lucky they didn't hit me. Ooh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Double yikes. Okay, well, this time we'll have our Mimic tier and things will go a lot differently. Things will go a heck of a lot differently. We have a million uh, runes, by the way. I was going to say souls, but it's runes. How much do I need to level up? Because I'm like level 342. At this point, my build is just like 
keep it the way it is. Sorcery builds. Eh. I tried a sorcery build. <sighs> I feel like a sorcery build in New Game Plus, absolute garbage. Or maybe I just tried it against the wrong bosses. People say that the uh, Godskin Duo is like one of the, the toughest bosses. I have to majorly disagree with that. Majorly disagree. Godskin Duo is hard if you don't have Mimic Tier. I feel like Mimic Tier makes this game insanely easy. Because, like, once you have that, you've upgraded that to full, and your stats are like maxed out to, the, I guess, to the max, I guess. Then, I mean, most bosses are not a threat. Like, unless... Uh, these bosses are pretty, you know, pretty dangerous still, but that's because it's like New Game Plus 5. I, I lost track of how many New Game Pluses this is. Or it's been, I guess you could say. Alright. boy. Oh, no, I did not mean to do that. I'll skip this one. Yeah, please go after him, because this fight... Ooh, this part of the fight brings back PTSD, man. I can stop that. Oh, my God, come on. damage does this do again? A lot. Alright, please distract him from here. Oh no. Sorry bud, but you're dead. Please kill him. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say there. You're getting a little close to killing me. Thy strength benefits a crowd. Damn right it does. Alright. So, pretty easy bosses so far. I uh, died once that boss, but. I'm gonna try to minimize the deaths. Oh, I can level up. What do I level up at this point? <laughs> like, arcane? Stats are pretty, pretty there. And like, after it, he health does not really do anything at all. Endurance, maybe? Do endurance. You know, I really don't have time to think about this, so you know what? Why not? <laughs> just, you know, just make them bleed. Make them bleed, even though this boss, I'm pretty sure, does not bleed. I feel like it's still adding the, um,. The effect does help. All right, first thing you want to do in this boss fight: summon your mimic tier because he will turn around in the blink of an eye. And as I said before, this boss is by far the most annoying. Besides Millennium, I say annoying instead of hard because I mean he's not super hard. He's just annoying because of some of the attacks he can do. Go through the light. Hopefully this doesn't take more than, like, two tries. If it does, eh. Because I feel like they f um, fixed Elden Beast's AI, or maybe it's still crap. 
spamming this button right now. Like, why? this boss. Dodge, dodge, dodge. That attack is evil. It, bruh, come on, I got that. Like, come on, dude. He, he just stops in the middle of his deck. Oh, here we go. Sepuku literally does nothing here. Do we skip this cutscene? We skip this cutscene. Are you doing his ring attack? I feel like I'm going to be fighting. Dude, get out of the atomic blast, idiot. Oh, come on, now I'm fighting this dude alone. There's four of these. I dodged that game. Come on, give me that. I do not want to have to fight this boss again, since this boss takes way too long to fight. Oh, come on. Dude, I'm... No, 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 no. Dude, the delay! Can I get a hit in, please? Oh, oh my god! Look at the delay on that attack. Oh, and then his amazing... The best attack in the entire game. Oh, while you do Wave of Gold. Okay, like... Real though, who came up with this attack? And then you shoot this? Oh my god, dude. I have a rune. That's what I can use next, as my next healing. Because all this boss does is just 
run. All he does is run. No, I'm not getting hit by that. Oh. Close. You guys believe in me, right? Alright. You guys believe in me. I know you guys believe in me. This is easy boss. Easy boss. I don't know. No! Not the new. They didn't give me any help. Dude, I dodged that! <sighs> I dodged that. I pressed circle. Dude. This boss isn't particularly hard. It's just annoying to go through every time. It's annoying because it's a two-part boss that it's not like, oh, once you kill the first boss, that's it, then there's the last boss. No, it's you have to kill them both in the same time span, like in the same exact boss fight. Like, come on, dude. Okay, so, note to self, I have like a million of these rune arcs. Just use one at the beginning of the fight because there's no point not to at this point. Seeming as it doesn't give you any extra health. <sighs> a little bit of rage you saw there. There's a little bit of rage you saw there. Don't really rage that much, but that was kind of annoying since almost certain I pressed dodge, but <laughs> the game says otherwise. So. Okay. so now we have more health. Make sure to heal up a couple times when I get into the arena after I skip the cutscene. So we have more health, more of certain attributes, really. Summon. Like both. The game literally just started. Calm down. Like, you're not even supposed to be able to do this attack until later. Why can't you just do this attack now? I'm gonna get one more hit off. Dude, oh come on! The dodge timings on this are so dumb. That attack is annoying as hell, because the delay on the second one is just so... Bro, I'm gonna actually lose my mind. Dude, I'm dodging these. Bro! Oh my god! This is pissing me off now. This is pissing me off now. This is why this is probably one of the most annoying bosses in the game. It's like you don't get any downtime at all to do any attacks. And the times you do, he immediately has a follow-up. It's like he has no cooldown on what attacks he can do. He can just attack, attack, attack. And it gets worse in his second phase. Because in his second phase, he can just teleport and then immediately start doing attacks again after he didn't attack. It's so dumb. And his AoE attacks are even dumber. Dude, I didn't... 
Look, I'm mainly stressing about this because, like, the way I'm recording, I only have, like, an hour to record. And then it just cuts off. I don't want to make this into a two-part video. I want to get the game over with. So I can, like, get on to other games since, you know, this is kind of an older game. Now at least. So I don't want to be stuck on this game for much longer. There's no way I die. Well, if I die that many times, then at that point, I feel like the recording would stop. And it's like, I'm never going to use these runes. I'm never going to use these rune fragments again, so it's like there's no point in trying to preserve them. But this is, this is getting annoying. That didn't even hit me! Bro, oh my god. That that one hit didn't even hit me. It like clicked me. There we go. Um, dude, that jump doesn't work! This spans across the entire arena. That went across the entire arena. That's actually insane. Why are you spookling? Come on, just fight the guy! Oh, that's the first. Bro, oh my god. See, no chill! No chill with his AI. It's just attack, attack, attack. Okay, that was fun. Get out of this little... Aha, you're still targeting me! Get out of that. Okay. This is why this boss is stupid, dude. I'm telling you. Golden Vow. Black Flame Protection. Oh, it didn't even let me cast that. Oh. You're really, you're really screwing me here, game. I feel like last time he cut his flame prematurely. That's it, oh my god. And then he dies immediately! Dude, just use this. And then, I feel like I don't even need this. I, can split, I feel like I can literally switch all of them to the other flasks. Crimson flasks. Um. Like, stop running away. This boss fight is more annoying than anything. Oh, man, run away and then do that. So you can slowly just chip away at my health. Oh, and then do fire while I can't see. Drop down. And then there's a Okay, no, 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 no. That was bullcrap. I ran into the invisible barrier. No. I'm not getting it. My dog butt doesn't work. I'm doing one more attempt, and then I'm making a whole video on this. Because this is going to take multiple times. I'm... Okay. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so unbelievably stupid. It's like the first part of the fight just drains your flasks. So you can't use them anymore. You have like four 
when you finally get to that boss fight. And then he runs away and does so many distant ranged attacks that it's like, if you screw up once, you have to use a flask. If not two. It's retarded. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word on YouTube, but I mean, like, it, it's just a fact. In my opinion, at least. Because I know there's people that have, like, no problem. No problem with this. Okay, give me all of these, because I'm not going to be using any of those. I'm literally just going to be powering up with my stuff. I'm not going to be refueling it. Man. This boss fight, it gets to you. It gets to you. I feel like, generally, Dark Souls just gets to you. Final attempt, and then I'm done. I'm gonna just record a separate video trying to beat the boss. This is the first time I've actually raged while playing this game. I feel like you guys haven't heard me rage. I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight recently. If you don't know what that is, it's like an online multiplayer game where um, you just run from killers and you play survivors. It's quite rage-inducing, if you don't know. Okay, I'm on it. Good. I was worried I wasn't on it. Okay, so now I have 11 classes. Like, bro is already pulling that out. And he's using a follow-up. Like, come on. Dude, I dodged that! Like... Straight to the side, straight to the side. That's the only way to actually dodge this properly. By the way. Didn't know that. Like, like, bro, he's. Dude, he did the same attack twice. Like. Okay, well. My mimic here is just an idiot since he's literally like Sakuku and all right in front of him. There. Golden Val, both of us. And black flame protection me. Nine Estus. What's the chance we don't get this? What is the chance? There's no chance, right? We have to get this. this time. That somehow hit me. Understandable. Though. Okay, heal up twice. He's gonna go for that. It makes you, you're literally two seconds from death. My left ear is twitching. I'm not sure why. Get out of the ring, you idiot. Okay, I can do a lot of damage. There's a follow-up. There's three! Oh my god. Why? Is that a new attack? I swear I've never seen an attack. By the way, this this attack is nearly undodgeable. People have done it before. Mega Chads have done A and no hit run in this game before, and they have dodged it. Like, dude, what am I? I 
I probably just blew your, your ears out, dude. 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 How am I supposed to focus on the boss while I'm getting hit with Elden Stars, those freaking needle, golden needles, and now he's, like, this boss is so stupid. Radagon, okay, I can handle Radagon. He has some cheap, fast moves, whatever. Elden Beast? What the hell? What do you actually do? You can't stay on him. Okay. So, there will be a next video. I wanted to finish this game up in this video. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that because this boss is kind of being a douche right now. So, I'll come back, finish this video up, finish the game up, I mean. And, uh, yeah. Well, I'm probably just going to make the video right after this. Right after this. Because I don't want to prematurely end the video and you'd be like, bro, what happened? So, I will see you guys in the next video very shortly. We're taking this boss down.